I'm Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on Rate of Change. Here is a thinking and communication question where we are going to use the difference quotient formula to solve. The question here is, height in meters of a ball t seconds after it is hit is given by the function h of t equals to minus 5t square plus 20t plus 1. Find the time when the ball reaches the maximum height using the concept of rate of change right so here the point is not given to us we have to find it and therefore we are going to use difference quotient method now remember at the maximum instantaneous rate of change is going to be zero so we'll find instantaneous rate of change and using this difference quotient method the formula will be in this case function is height so we'll write h of t plus uh, some value so let's say t plus h minus h of t over h that is what we are going to find where h is very very small as compared to one clear so when I say t plus h, that means a point which is uh, very close to t, right? Now, we can substitute t plus h here, so we get minus 5 t plus h whole square plus 20 times t plus h plus 1 minus all this, right? Which is h of t, right? So, which is minus 5 t square plus 20 t plus 1. It's important to write the brackets so you know absolutely clear thereafter. Let's expand and simplify. So we get instantaneous rate of change that should be equal to 0 at the turning point right equals to 0 at turning point which is the maximum for us. Clear? Let us expand this. So we get minus 5 t plus h whole square gives us t square plus 2th plus h square, right? Here we have plus, open the bracket, 20t plus 20h plus 1 minus. Here we have minus 5t square plus 20t plus 1. Everything divided by h. So whenever you do difference quotient, you will notice that all these terms, three of them, will cancel. If they don't cancel, that means something wrong has occurred. Do you understand? Minus 5t squared, minus 5t squared taken away. Correct? Now, we can now write this as 0 equals 2. Open the bracket. So we have minus 10th plus, rather, minus 5h squared. We have plus 20h, right, and all these cancel, divided by h. So here, h is common now, so we can take h common. There are other terms also which are common, anyway, we'll keep them. So minus 10t, minus 5h, um, and then here we have plus 20 over h. So the idea is to cancel h. We also know that h is very very small as compared to 1. It is approaching 0. So in that case, this also approaches 0. Do you see that? So what we get here is that 0 is equals to minus 10t plus 20. Okay. So bringing 10t on this side, we get 10t equals to 20, or t equals to 20 over 10, which is 2, right? So we get our answer that after 2 seconds, the ball will be at the maximum height. Sometimes you may be 
Now you're required to find the height also. You can substitute 2 here and get your answer, right? So h of t will give you the maximum height. But I hope overall the method explains how do you, you find the point on the curve where there could be a turning point. And this turning point could be a maximum or a minimum, right? So in this case, since parabola leading coefficient is negative, we know it's a curve which is kind of like this and so we are heading for a maximum perfect so i hope that helps feel free to write your comment share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that'd be great thanks for your time and all the best